Hello Rejects! So, we're gonna watch the trailer today, season one teaser trailer of the 2017 reboot of Tales from the Crypt. M. Night Shyamalan is doing this one, so let's watch. Scary mop. Scary mop. Looks like Bill Mosley. Meets George Carlin. <laughs> let the right one in. Whoa, it really is let the right one in. <laughs> Keeper, is it? Oh! <laughs> cool. That's the covenant here on time. Whoa. Oh, man. That was, that was pretty neat. That was pretty neat. From what I've read about this, they're putting together these two shows and Tales from the Crypt, what they want to do with it is make it a half hour anthology series with short films uh, in between, I think like during the breaks of the two new shows. There's going to be like a, a real time 10 episode season long, uh, I forgot the names of the shows. <laughs> there's going to be a 10 episode season long uh, real time show and then there's another show that they're going to be airing, so there's like a two hour block that they're going to have for this and there's supposed to be a half hour anthology show of Tales from the Crypt and then they're supposed to do like short films in between. So I guess this is just a teaser as to, to one of the many episodes we'll probably get from Tales from the Crypt. From looking at this, it does have a lot of the kind of, you know, it doesn't look exactly like it, the original Tales from the Crypt. But you, st you still do kind of have that dark, humorous vibe about it, especially with the way the lighting is. Like, it's not bright, and it's not exactly cartoony. It does remind me of this, like, spooky, boogeyman horror kind of, you know, flicks from the 80s and 90s. I did see this video that M. Night Shyamalan released where he's talking about how he wants to honor the dark humor from the comics, and that's part of what made Tales from the Crypt so special. And even though this isn't exactly, like, a funny clip, you can feel that humor kind of present behind the filmmaking here. It doesn't look like the kind of style and effects you'd see on like American Horror Story. It has more of that spooky flair to it. So I'm excited to see uh, what they got in store for this. I know there was like, there's been a lot of production problems with this. It keeps going back and forth between, oh, it's not gonna be done, oh, they're putting it on pause. And I thought this was on pause, but then they released this, so. I guess it's still going, you know, it's gonna air soon, hopefully. M. Night Shyamalan had a tanking career, comes back with The Visit, really comes back on top with Split. I really feel like he needs a third movie. I Maybe mean, if he like really does bring us a great rendition of Tales from the Crypt, this could solidify him as like a horror master. This other thing I saw said he was a horror master, but I'm like, I don't even know if we call him a master just yet. But I feel like with The Visit, Split, and if this does well, I feel like Shyamalan is really set. Some people feel like Shyamalan is already truly back with Split. I feel like he needs one more project to prove that he's really back. I have this like rule of three thing in my mind. I feel like if Tales from the Crypt does really well, yeah, Shyamalan is in pure form again. Y'all excited for this? You excited for Shyamalan to adapt another thing that has a former source material? We know how that went last time. Subscribe to The Real Rejects. Follow me at the Greg Alba on Instagram and Twitter. If you guys haven't seen Split, I just feel like I gotta ruin it for you. Bruce Willis, he, he was dead the whole time.